it was entrusted with the task of equipping our new army with many of its essential vehicles and machines. Remember, we were building for war long before that fateful Sunday in December 41, when the enemy struck in the Pacific. <laughs> came, the great truck plant was already an arsenal. In succeeding days and months have come off the assembly lines thousands of troop and cargo motor trucks, command cars, weapons carriers, personnel and cargo carriers, army ambulances. And if you'd like to be sure that these vehicles of war are built according to the tradition of dependability, just watch them go through their paces on the proving ground. Teamwork in the Chrysler Corporation, of which Dodge is the largest division, makes possible the production of many powerful instruments of war. That's why the foundry is throbbing with activity these days, and these nights too, striking blows against the Axis. The Dodge division is part of this great team that builds the massive General Sherman, the medium tank that has encountered the enemy with honor on three continents. Here again is that old dependability, teamed up now with the United States Army to crush the dictators. <laughs>
the product of craftsmanship and teamwork, flies through the air on every battlefront. For we make 700 different Duralumin forgings that go into more than a dozen different bombers and fighters. Those forgings help our planes to withstand the terrific strains of warfare in the air and take more than their share of punishment. Our products go to sea with the United States Navy, for we are on the team that builds the Sperry Gyro Compass. It is composed of more than 10,000 individual pieces, and it was our tool engineers who helped design more than 5,000 jigs, dies, and fixtures to make these delicate instruments. But it's nothing new to those experts to maintain a manufacturing accuracy of better than one-tenth of a thousandth of an inch, and that's 50 times less than the thickness of a human hair. Here's another way of visualizing precision. The rotors of the gyro compass are balanced on this machine, and a state of perfect balance is shown by this straight line on the dial. The machine is so sensitive that if you place a single piece of confetti, a tiny flake weighing one one-thousandth of an ounce on the rotor, the dial shows that this added weight has thrown the rotor out of balance. We are on the team that makes that amazing machine whose silent, invisible fingers reach out for miles to detect and report the presence of the enemy in the air and on the sea. The miracle instrument that has helped to win battles on every front. We are on the team that makes those 40 millimeter guns with which the Army and the Navy are knocking enemy planes out of the sky. Chrysler Corporation is one of the largest producers of these anti-aircraft guns that have earned the respect of our soldiers and sailors around the world and the respect of the enemy, too. And teamwork, perfected in automobile plants, made it possible to cut the assembly time of these mighty cannon from 450 hours to less than 10 hours. That's one way to give our fighting men many weapons and on time. We are on the team that makes the great 2,000 horsepower plus aircraft engine manufactured in the Dodge Chicago plant of Chrysler Corporation. The first truck to travel the famed Alcan, now called the Alaska Military Highway, over which supplies are carried to our men in faraway Alaska, was our product. Yes, these job-rated trucks have enlisted for the duration, but now their job is winning the war, and they're highly rated in Alaska and Africa, in Russia and China, in Iceland and Australia. Just about everywhere, the flags of the Allies are planted on the globe. We are proud of the General Shermans that have done such valiant service for the cause of the United Nations the world over. We are proud of those 40 millimeter anti-aircraft guns and of the secret instrument that helps to put them on the target miles away and of the projectiles that carry a message of freedom to oppressed peoples everywhere. And we're proud of the gyro compass that holds the vessels of our Navy on a true course. On the home front, Dodge dealers in every part of the country have recruited men by the hundreds for service in ordnance units. Meanwhile, they are also in there fighting to keep the civilian trucks running, trucks that transport materials to war plants and serve the essential needs of the home front. Nor do they neglect the passenger cars that carry the workers to and from the plants. They are seeing to it that this part of our transportation system does not falter, but that it continues to operate both efficiently and economically. There's another great team whose members are dotted the country over. Thousands of subcontractors who supply us with parts and materials. Now, as never before, we are United States, knit together by the high ideal of freedom. For now we have United States of mind. Some happy day we'll be at peace again. And there'll be a new family car, yes, and plenty of gas to put in it. Someday when peace comes to what is still and will always be the land of the free. Once more, we'll find time to play when the clouds of war have been dispelled. But now, we're all on the American team that's fighting the greatest World Series of all time. We won't flinch and we won't complain, but we'll hit the line hard and keep hitting it. We must work with our hands and with our heads. Yes, and we must put our dollars to work too. We are all in the same boat now, and we must pull with all our might and pull together. It is a sacred duty of us on the home front to provide the weapons of war for our fathers and husbands, our sons and brothers on the battlefront. We must, and we will not fail them. 
because the men of our armed forces on the front lines are depending on us, depending on our faithful and earnest teamwork, on the lines behind the lines, on the assembly lines of victory. Thank you.